can't tell you. <laughs> Just look at this. So I just stopped there for like I just stopped there like for like uh, 15 20 minutes for uh, a short break and I wanted to take some photos which I did and now and now I'm heading to this spa I hope I should reach there uh, well in time oh man there is no road only here so these places we don't have roads <clears throat> I have not seen road for like last five kilometers and I'm still riding so many bikers Oh man, I took half an hour to complete that uh, last five kilometers and most of the time I'll be going in first gear and from after starting from Manali, uh, after started climbing, I think I, I think I used the uh, fifth gear only once. And that too for a few seconds. Maybe because I'm inside a rain jacket, I feel a little bit warm inside. I'm not sweating at the moment, but I feel a little bit warm inside. When will I see the road? Oh man. I could see some road. Wow. Oh, how you really don't know how happy I feel after seeing this road. So I'm riding from last uh, three and a half hours and I have completed 60 kilometers. 66. Wow. I don't know how long this road will be like this. Oh. It's done, is it? Okay, after that, there is... Good that I don't have uh, Metzler's. <laughs> it's Michelin, so... Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So as of now, I'm in Coke, sir. Uh, I just stopped here for lunch. At the time is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So I've ordered some uh, rice and aloo gobi. So I'll just finish my lunch and I'll get back to you. Okay, I just uh, had my lunch here. Now I have 67 kilometers. Two hours to go. Time is 2.30. Okay, so this is Gokar, the same place where I had my lunch. Uh, you had to do an entry here of your bike and your uh, and you have to show your permit as well. So, which I just did, and now I'm going to just for.
So you finally caught me. Did you just stop here? Yeah, I just had my lunch. 50 kilometers, one hour. One one and a half hour max. This far? Huh. Cool. Hold on. It's an address. Huh. Uh, there is this campsite. Okay. Just before this far. Huh, huh, huh. It's a, how is the site? It's on the river side. Okay, it's a camp? Yeah. Yeah, we can go there. Okay then, chalo. So finally, Subramanyam is here. He caught me somehow. Because I was, I stopped here for lunch and I think he didn't have lunch. These roads are pretty okay, okay. Yeah, now roads. He had a parcel his bike to Delhi and from there, uh, he rode. These resides are really good. Nice, nice. <clears throat> wow. I was coming from the top. Oh man, look at that. Just look at that. Man. Would you believe this? Would you believe this? What I'm seeing? Holy moly! Wow! Chetan, what are you doing? Malapura. Malapura, you're going to go? Adi, you're going to go. Okay. I'm going to go to Bangalore. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. 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 So hey guys, uh, we are uh, somewhere near Sisu. So this comes after, uh, what is the place name? Goka. No, no, no. Uh, Khatar. Khatar, Khatar. Okay, Khatar, some place. So there we need to show the permit once more. And we have just uh, stopped here for a break. And uh, the view is stunning, man. You should see this. See? This is a breathtaking view. Trust me guys, it's really awesome and it started raining so I'll, I'll put back the camera in I'll see you on the road again It started raining a bit and it's raining but that's okay Okay, this place is Sisu And we have another 50 more kilometers to Jispa. Altitude is 10170 feet. Just check that out. That thing. It's bloody beautifully awesome. Man, this is a dangerous curve. Now what you see there is, that is... Is there any way that I can reach there? 
I'm pretty sure there's no oxygen. Pretty sure about it. I am seriously in a very, uh, you know, very huge confusion as it to when to switch on the camera and when to switch off the camera. <coughs> normally, what I do is normally when I shoot a vlog, there will be certain places or certain time when I start my camera and keep it on for some time and then I switch it off. But here, just look at the view, man. You don't feel like uh, switching it off at all. So hey guys, we have just stopped for fuel and. This is the last fuel stop which you get in another 365 kilometers. So here, I'll just show you that board. If hey, if this board was supposed to be a celebrity, then this board would have taken the most number of pictures. So let's see this. This is the one. It says the next filling station is 365 kilometers ahead. So which means that you're not gonna get fuel for next. 365 kilometers and you know my bike gives like an average of 20-25 in these kind of roads so I have filled up both the jerry cans and I have filled up my tank also so now it's time to head which is probably will will reach there in an hour or so and the time as of now is is 4.40 in the evening so one hour 5.30, hopefully yeah we can make it. So fuel is done. Now let's hit the road. So one more thing is that the the excitement which I had when I saw the mountain the first time is not there now. It's like mountains everywhere. <laughs> I know, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a human tendency, it's not my fault. So I think we have reached Kelong. Uh, from here it will be another 20-ish 20, 20 kilometer to Jispa. So the city which we just covered is Kelong. Mountains! Again, mountains, mountains, mountains! From the last two days, I'm seeing only mountains. I can feel a very cold breeze. Very cold breeze entering inside my eye. You know, uh, jacket you want to check out there what? you want to check out this area that is better than oh, okay. that is better yeah let's go there So this is a place where we are going to stay. That's a double room. Okay, no problem. Let me just have a look at the washroom. Okay, <coughs> not bad. So hey guys, finally we have planned to take a room here we are staying here and we are staying in this tent and these are our bikes 
This is like uh, two kilometers uh, before Jispa. Just two kilometers before Jispa, and this area is full of tents. Just look at this. And I'm also uh, I'm also taking a time lapse here. I have kept one camera here, and then I have kept one more camera here for uh, taking a time lapse. This is a view, and this is the tent which we are staying, and this is the tent. And Mr. Subramaniam is playing with the phones, his two phones. <laughs> so as soon as we came, we were really hungry. We ate some bread omelette, uh, toasted bread omelette, and then we just came back to room. And the temperature here is uh, three or four degrees Celsius. It's really freezing cold here. So Mr. Subbu is trying out uh, the woolen socks. Oh, you sit and do it. This is We both have woolen socks now. And if you are wondering what is this, this is my thermal. Hmm. Uh, so hey guys, uh, so this is day 9 ending. Uh, we are in a tent now and uh, I am gonna sleep. Uh, I'm really tired. We just finished our dinner and we just came back. Um, I had some rice, dal and uh, roti. Uh, it was okay, it was good. And it's very cold inside the tent. Even though it's inside the tent, it is very cold. <sighs> so that's it I have for today. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed watching this vlog. Uh, if you enjoyed, please uh, hit, the thumb, uh, hit the thumbs up button. And please let me know your thoughts of the of this video on the comment section below. So tomorrow we'll start with day 10 going towards Sarchu. Okay? So this is good night from Pete's and Subu. Good night guys. Good night. Good night. <laughs>